What's up everybody, Keegan Lanier here with Keegan Lanier Media and we're bringing you another tutorial today. We're talking about how to actually customize the Divi menu. We know there's not a whole lot of options right now. Divi is, well, Elegant Themes is actually working on this and you can find the link to their sneak peek for the theme builder in this post. But also for the meantime, you know, what do you do? What options do we have? So today we're gonna take you through how to customize the menu to look a little more custom, a little less like the traditional Divi menu, give you some options. I'm gonna show you both the desktop version and the mobile version. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So as you can see here, we're looking at just a pretty basic Divi page. We've got a few things up here, you know, there's some pages that we've already created just so that there's some items in the menu. But we want to show you the key to this whole thing is going to be the CSS. So let's jump into the back end. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that the, the menus are actually built out. So if you go under appearance, we'll go to menus and we'll show you a couple menus that we've already put in place, right? So we've got this test menu where it's home, about, blog, and we've created some custom links that don't go anywhere, but they're just going to give you an idea of what the drop menus are going to look like. So we've got links one through eight, contact here, and we're gonna set this as the primary menu. We want this to be the main navigation for the site. So we'll hit save, and let's jump into the front end so that you can see what this will look like. And you can see we've got all of these here, and then the regular drop menu here for Divi, all the backgrounds, pretty much pretty standard, exactly what Divi comes with. But we also wanna set a secondary menu. So we'll jump into the secondary menu and we've built this one as well. Where there's a sign up link, a login, member area, and a support link. This is just for placeholders, just so we can give you an idea what this will look like. Your menu structure could definitely be different, will be different. Um, but we want to set this as a secondary menu and hit save. And then we'll jump back into the front and we'll reload that page. So now you see the secondary menu is above the primary menu. And you can see all the drop downs, you know, it's like I said, very, very standard for what comes with Divi. The key and the magic here is gonna be in the CSS, it's the custom coding. And to drop custom code into your site, you wanna go under Divi, go to theme options, and then scroll all the way down to this custom CSS section. You can see there's nothing here. We've already got the custom CSS for you, you can find it below, um, just copy that CSS and then you'll be able to place it directly in here. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. There's custom codes for the header, different padding. There's a lot of different styles for the primary, secondary menus. Um, there's just a, there's a lot going on here. So you can highlight all of this and just paste it into the custom CSS. From there, we're gonna save and we'll show you the difference between these two. So if we open up a new tab, this is what it looked like before the CSS, and then this is what it's gonna look like after. So you can see there's a little bit of CSS here. We've separated these links where that wasn't before, but the drop downs are where the magic's really gonna happen. So you can see here when we drop down, we've created a hover over and we've put some text in front of it so that you can, it just, it just draws your eye, right? Whenever someone's going over, when they're looking at these sites, it's gonna be just a little more engaging. So as you can see here, there's some different things that pop up and the style's a little bit different. And if we were to add more, this has a finite height. So as you, if you had a sub menu that had a ton of options in it, um, you would be able to scroll. The reason for this and the, the inspiration behind this is from the layout site that we have. So uh, I've got layouts.keeganlinearmedia and what we were trying to accomplish here was basically a layout list, right? So we could go through all of these and flip between the different layout packs. So I can go into a wedding here. That was kind of the, that was the goal behind all of this, right? So we could just jump between, between different layout packs and these menus would still be able to change all while this menu up top would be the same. And ideally it would only drop down to a certain height on this page and then we'd be able to scroll. So that's where the, the inspiration came from on this. And this was the original, and again, this is, you can see the small difference, but it's nice to be able to break this up. So as we go down to the mobile version, what we did 
is that we just kind of highlighted the ones with the submenus, right? And we kept, uh, we added the little notch before the link so it would show it as a sub and then still have the hover over here for these. And this was just a nice way to break this up. There's also um, some scripts that you can put in place to condense these in Divi. And we did put that in place on our layout pack. So if we jump back into here, I can take you exactly into what that code looks like. And we'll also include that below. So again, everything's done inside of this theme option. We go under integrations. This is where you're going to plug in that code that condenses the actual uh, collapsible submenus. And it's this code here. So we'll jump back into the demo zone, go to integrations. And when we drop this in, we're going to save those changes and go back and refresh the front end here. So how we saw here where everything is together, when we refresh the page and we reopen this, you're going to see how everything is condensed. You hit the plus symbol, it opens up. I just like this, you know, it expands on Divi's menu and it makes it look a little bit more professional. It makes it look a little more organized. So we're pretty excited for the way this turned out. And we think there's going to be a lot of possibilities, a lot of ways that you can use this to take your site to the next level. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments below, whether you're on YouTube or whether you're on KingOfLinearMedia.com. We'd love to engage with you. We'd love to hear what, you, what your feedback is on this and see, more importantly, how you're using this. So don't forget, if you want to do this yourself, the code's below. And if you want to do this the easy way, we've got links below to where you can download the actual files where you can import them directly into the theme options. We hope you appreciate it. We will definitely catch you in the next video. Have an awesome day.